The 14-year-old girl gave birth, and when the doctor saw the father, he called the police. In the quiet town where everyone knew each other by name, the revelation of Emily's pregnancy struck like a thunderclap on a clear day. Sarah and Michael, her parents, felt the ground shift beneath them as the secret unfurled. Their daughter, only 14, had been cocooned in a mystery they had mistaken for teenage angst. The quiet dinners, the closed bedroom door, signals misread, moments lost. Now confronted with a truth too big to comprehend, Emily remained silent, a fortress of solitude, refusing to unveil the father's identity. This silence wove a thickening veil of distress over their family, leaving her parents to navigate the turbulent waters of fear, confusion, and concern alone. The town, a tapestry of close relationships and shared histories, found itself at a crossroads. Support flowed towards Emily's doorstep, a testament to the bonds that tied the community together. Yet, amidst the warmth, whispers bloomed like unwelcome weeds in a garden, seeding doubts and casting long shadows over the intentions and actions of those involved. Dr. Carter, the beacon of health and healing in the town, found himself holding the threads of this delicate situation. A physician, seasoned by years of service and the keeper of countless confidences, he approached Emily's case with a balance of professionalism and empathy. He was a heart that had weathered many storms, stood firm, guided by an unyielding commitment to care and confidentiality. However, the moment of birth brought with it a revelation that would test the very foundations of his principles. As the cries of the newborn echoed through the room, a truth emerged, stark and undeniable, demanding action that went beyond the bounds of medical duty. This moment, charged with a palpable intensity, marked a turning point. The air, heavy with anticipation and the weight of the unknown, became a silent witness to the conflict that brewed within Dr. Carter. It was a conflict that mirrored the larger, looming struggles of the town itself, a battle between the sanctity of trust and the imperatives of morality, between the personal and the professional. In the heart of the physician, where empathy and ethics danced a delicate dance, a decision crystallized, setting in motion a chain of events that would ripple through the lives of all involved, challenging the very essence of what it meant to protect, to serve, and to heal. As dawn broke over the small town, the arrival of Emily's child marked the beginning of an unraveling that would pierce the heart of the community. Dr. Carter, standing at the crossroads of professional obligation and ethical duty, found himself holding a key that would unlock a Pandora's box of secrets. With the weight of the decision pressing upon his shoulders, he placed the call to the authorities, an action that felt like the turning of a page in the town's history. The father, revealed to be a respected figure in the community, Mr. Thomas, the high school teacher, became the epicenter of a scandal that sent shock waves through the lives of all who knew him. Esteemed and trusted, Mr. Thomas's facade crumbled under the scrutiny of the law, exposing a web of manipulation and deceit that had gone unnoticed under the guise of mentorship and guidance. The revelation of his actions, a betrayal of trust so profound, cast a long shadow over the memories and relationships that had once seemed unbreakable. As the investigation deepened, secrets once buried began to surface. Financial improprieties, illicit relationships, and a network of lies that extended beyond Mr. Thomas to involve several other prominent figures in the town were uncovered. The idyllic veneer of the community was shattered, revealing a complex underbelly of moral compromise and ethical blindness. Amidst this turmoil, Emily, now a mother, faced the daunting task of navigating her new reality. The societal judgment, whispered behind closed doors and in the aisles of the grocery store, became a constant companion. Yet it was the tumult of her own emotions toward Mr. Thomas, anger, betrayal, and an indescribable sense of loss, that proved the most challenging to reconcile. Her journey into motherhood was shadowed by the scandal, her child a living reminder of the profound complexities of human relationships. Sarah and Michael, grappling with their own maelstrom of guilt and confusion, stood by the daughter. Their home, once a haven of simplicity and love, had become the epicenter of a struggle to find footing in a world that had shifted beneath them. The support they offered Emily was a beacon of stability in the chaos, a testament to the enduring strength of family amidst the storm of revelations. As the community confronted the realities laid bare by the investigation, the fabric of their existence was irrevocably altered. Trust, once given freely, now came with caution, and the bonds that had united them were tested in ways they never could have imagined. In the heart of the scandal, at the intersection of truth and consequence, the town found itself at a crossroads, searching for a path forward through the wreckage of revelations. In the heart of the small town, the courtroom became the stage for a drama that would etch itself into the collective memory of its residents. The legal battle that ensued was more than a matter of law. 
it became a mirror, reflecting the community's deepest conflicts and concerns. The air was thick with tension, as neighbors, friends, and families found themselves on opposite sides of a divide that cut through the very fabric of their lives. Morality, the protection of the young, and the weight of authority were dissected and debated, not just within the confines of the courtroom, but in every home, on every street corner. As the trial unfolded, Emily stood at the epicenter of the storm, her presence a silent rebuke to the whispered judgments and sideways glances. Yet, as her story was laid bare before the court, a transformation occurred. Her voice, once muffled by fear and uncertainty, grew in strength and clarity. It rose above the din of legal arguments and public speculation, embodying resilience and a plea for justice that transcended her own circumstance. Emily challenged the molds into which she had been cast, becoming a beacon for those who had felt voiceless. In the trial's wake, the town found itself at a crossroads. The verdict, whatever it might be, was not a balm for the wounds opened by the case. Instead, it served as a catalyst for introspection and change. The community, recognizing the fissures within itself, began the painstaking work of healing. Conversations that had once seemed impossible, now took place as people came together to acknowledge their failures and seek solutions. Emily's journey from the shadows of vulnerability into the light of agency and motherhood became a symbol of this collective striving. Her experience sparked discussions about the ways in which the community could support its most vulnerable, educate its youth about their rights and responsibilities, and foster an environment where communication could thrive over silence. Through the trials and tribulations, a narrative of hope emerged. The town's ordeal underscored the profound strength that lies in acknowledging one's vulnerability, the transformative power of compassion, and the endless capacity for growth and forgiveness. Emily's story, woven into the fabric of the community, became a testament to the indomitable human spirit, inspiring a belief in the possibility of renewal and the enduring value of empathy and understanding in the face of adversity.